Do you recognize this floor? Anybody? This is the floor I put in Humble Road Van number one. Why is that significant, you ask? Because the astute owner of the first Humble Road Van also wants the first Humble Road Mini Me. That's right, the O1s belong to one. Beyond this beauty, the Mini Me's will be offered with your choice of color packages, which will include one of these two floor selections. I chose them for their rustic appeal and versatility in matching different colorways beiges, whites, grays, keeping it classic, nothing trendy. Do you remember the access to the fuel pump cover in my last Mini-Me video? Well, I have decided to mark off the coordinates for the location and provide a replacement floor piece. My reasoning is this. It is most often rare that a fuel pump should need service or replacement, but it does happen. And during the time leading up to that heartache, why be constantly reminded and live with a cutout hatch right in the middle of your floor? It's not necessary. It's kind of like a life jacket. You keep it tucked away until you need it. Speaking about cutouts in the floor, by cutting away the three quarter inch plywood subfloor and inserting a quarter inch replacement, we gained a full half inch in height where the gray tank will live. Yep, that extra half inch was needed and made all the difference in plumbing the sink drain into that little gray tank. That cutout is now part of the CNC floor file and future mini me's will have the cutout done by the computer. We cut the fan holes, and the 3M5200 we use under the gasket needs a good week to cure. Then we can proceed with 3M4000 on the fan frame, which takes another week to cure. I took one of our community members' advice in using 3M4000 where exposed to the sun. Thank you, Benjamin. The custom roof rails are in place, and they will hold three 100-watt solar panels. They will tie into the electrical system through a custom roof-mounted combiner box. Myron designed and produced a slick standoff spacer on his 3D printer. We sandwiched that carbon fiber block with little heavy mass vinyl squares for a nice compression fit and shock absorbency. Yet another innovative use for that heavy mass vinyl. I love that stuff. I left the crossbar tabs long because I'm considering an option for the Mini-Me. A removable bat wing awning, easy attach and deployment, and a whole lot of shade. I have to buy one and put it through its paces before offering it to my clients. The garage area in the Big Beautiful Beast is falling into place nicely. My focus is on a minimalistic design. Each segment is absolutely necessary to the structural integrity of the module. No loafers. Look how nicely that beautiful water heater tucks into its little cubby, low and out of the way, and accessible. I use half-inch plywood scraps along the walls to act as stand-ins for the actual finished walls coming in later. This allows for precise measurements and fitment of the modules. I place this Monster 8020 profile across the bed supports to illustrate the overall width of the sleeping area in these Ford vans. 75 inches east-west, the widest of all the van platforms. I've got a few more transit tidbits to discuss in future videos. Look at this big, beautiful Dometic 12-volt chest fridge freezer. It's the big sister to the one I'm putting in the Mini-Me. It's going to hold prepared meals, frozen prior to departure. Then during the journey, foods can be transferred to the galley up front as needed. Like Sam's van, this one will have a microwave oven down the end of the hallway. The galley pantry framework is being fitted. This pantry will serve double duty, one half featuring a slide-out dry goods pantry, and the other half will house the plumbing and fixtures for the shower. If you need to service those shower fixtures, simply pull out the pantry and in you go. We got a new delivery this week as well. Ah, the Isotherm Cruise 200. A mini Sub-Zero if I ever saw one. A side-by-side -side refrigerator freezer. Some pretty decent storage capacity in a surprisingly small footprint. This baby is going into Lightfoot. 